Hello traders, FX Pipcolette here. Today is Tuesday, April 18th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. But first, take a look at my Forex trading course available to all gold Patreon members. The link for that can be found up here in the corner. So on the year again, I still think we're going out for a wave C, and I still think this has got a long ways to go. I believe it's going to go around the 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A, projected off the bottom of this ABC correction. So if that's true, that means this is eventually going to end up looking something like that. Now, we are talking about the monthly time frame, so that's going to take a very long time to play out. Going down to the weekly, what do we see? We see a lot of ABC corrections. The most recent one is right here, and as you can see, we are making higher highs and higher lows ever since. I still think this is going to break out of this zone. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of pullbacks along the way, but pullbacks are actually very good for us because at the end of pullbacks is where we can look to enter long for the continuation of the uptrend. So let's head down even more to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame is now where you can start to see the, this three-way pattern. Three waves down and pulsive up. It looks to me like a one, two, and we're in a wave three. If this is a wave three, then it needs to go beyond the 100% Fibonacci extension of wave one projected out the bottom of wave two. So if that's true, like I said, this has got a long ways to go to the upside. I believe it's going to break out of this area and go actually quite a bit beyond this 100% Fibonacci extension level. Probably all part of a wave three. So taking it down even more to the four hour time frame. Four hour time frame you can start to see the uptrend right here. Looks like a one, two, three, four, five, probably a wave one. Then this looks like a three way pattern down, probably a wave two, and I think we're in a wave three right now. Now it kind of looked like this morning that it was gonna go down make a proper ABC before it took off again. But since the trend is definitely still up and it probably is a wave three, there's definitely always a chance that this does even go down to make a proper wave C and it just keeps on drifting up making little pullbacks and just keeps on making higher highs and higher lows so taking it down to the one hour time frame so the reason why I did think it was going to go down again because this move down to me looks like a trend it looks like a one two three four five of a this move up kind of looks like a trend also but it's very overlapping and it did make a little bit of a lower high so it does kind of look like it wants to go down maybe around the 100% level like the 123 at a 78 to finish the wave C before it actually takes off to the upside again. So if it does make this proper ABC correct, and this is going to be very good for us because that will give us a very clear entry to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. But like I said, there's no guarantee it's going to go down and make a nice proper ABC. It really could just turn up at any time since the trend is definitely still up on all the higher time frames. And by the looks of it, we're probably in a wave 3. And a wave 3 is supposed to be the biggest, strongest wave of a trend so it very easily could just keep on making these little pullbacks and little continuations of the uptrend. So don't forget to join my free discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.